Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday. It is a pouring rain down outside, like, honestly, I'm trying to go for walks here, like, pretty regularly, and I was like, I could go for a swim, probably, if I truly, truly wanted to, because it is that bad, but it's fine. I have to work for a couple hours. Maybe it'll disappear later, but it's supposed to rain for, like, three days, and then I think it's supposed to be nice for three days, and then just here comes winter, so, yeah, we'll see. Anyways, <laughs> I'm at the theater. I'm in the concession for a very important reason. I bought this magnet on Amazon. It's a dirty slash clean magnet because with there not being like a lot of shows or a lot of people in the theater like only one or two things are getting put in the dishwasher at any given time and so I figured if I get one of these magnets and I'm really hoping it sticks to the front of the dishwasher then people will know is it dirty or is it clean because nobody like should be running the dishwasher for just like one glass I'm sorry no so moment of truth here I'm pretty sure it's dirty um, so, <laughs> no, <laughs> will it fit down here? Hmm. All right. <laughs> we'll have to figure out something. For now, it can just go there. Honestly, I am aware that I should have tested the dishwasher <laughs> before I bought that, but, um, oh, my brain, it just stopped. <laughs> I don't want to permanently attach anything to it, which was the other option for some things, and so, you know, YOLO. <laughs> so yeah, so I am here. It should just be a short shift today, which I think might actually include some... Wow, my brain. Some sewing later, I think, because I think I've only got like an hour and a half to two hours of tasks, so that's exciting. So I'm gonna have my breakfast drink, and then I'm going to start my shift and then figure out that magnet somehow. <laughs> well, hello, I am home. It is currently quarter to one and um, worked for four hours. I made a little, I finished up 10 seat covers today because I really only had like an hour-ish worth of work to do. So that's exciting. Then I went to the fabric store. So I got some greens to match some scrunchies and then I got some white because I go through white like crazy. I was just thinking I don't have bobbins for these but I do have bobbins coming tomorrow in the mail so it's fine. It's especially fine because we are pivoting and I got some poppy fabric because I think I mentioned it. A lady that I work with asked if I could make her some poppy masks so there we go and then I got some of these because I'm like I might as well make one and they're super cute and I'm selling more so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and then I got this fabric because I just love it. I've had it before. I sold out of it in scrunchies. Um, it's just so pretty. I love it. It's so pretty. I don't even know if it, it's like neon -y. Anyways, I got two meters of that because I absolutely love it, which says a lot because I hate dealing with anything more than one meter of fabric just for folding purposes. It's a pain. Anyways, so I need to wash those today. <laughs> and, um, I have a black cotton that I want to wash with it as well. I've washed it already, but it got floofy from the terry cloth. So I'm going to wash it again. Uh, but I think I'm quickly going to change now into something more comfortable. And I'm going to get that stuff in the laundry. Then I'm going to feed myself the food. Because I need to get those masks done ASAP. Because it is the third of the month and Remembrance Day is very shortly. So if I can get... The three done for my coworker tomorrow. I'm sure that would be great. The nice thing is, is because I cut and did all these yesterday, I can just repurpose these and then recut some for the ones underneath. So that is exciting and that was thinking ahead. But yeah, got lots to do today. I gotta look at my list. We're definitely gonna have to rearrange what was on my agenda today because of reasons. So yeah. That's where we're at. I'm gonna change now, like I said, and start getting going on those things. Sometimes when I get, when I start to get overwhelmed, I do this thing where I just scream, and it's not like a like a high pitched scream. It's just like a, ah! <laughs> and, and, and it just like, it does not. You, it's maybe it helps relieve a little bit of stress, but that's just kind of how I feel right now. Is just, because <laughs> I feel like I have so much to do, 
because I have so much to do. So the laundry's in, which is very exciting. I'm going to try to quickly pick up my room. It's going to be a little hard to do that because <laughs> that was all in my hamper. Um, I just dumped it out so I could use the hamper. So I'm supposed to kick it in that general direction. <laughs> this I can put back up for now. Oh, remember when I bought terry cloth <laughs> and I was so excited to make more of the um, reusable cotton pads. So excited that I have so many cut there. I haven't even had a chance to cut the terry cloth yet because I just <laughs> anyways that's how I'm feeling right now and so try to get some light in here maybe try to get my bed made I'm cooking while well, I'm waiting for the oven to heat up right now so I'll have lunch and hopefully by the time I am done lunch and done laundry I will be in a better headspace I'm gonna start with sewing the nose pieces and then I will cut the poppy fabric and then I will start pinning and sewing but I'll make a list before I get to that point but yeah that's how I'm feeling <laughs> just wanted to share it because you know as much as I try to make lists and be organized and make sure that everything's gonna be fine and not get stressed out there are days like this where I mean my mom knows it because she'll hear me I'll just be like ah! going so the nice thing is I don't work tomorrow so even if I don't get them finished today I can get them done tomorrow. I'm sure my coworker can come pick them up at my place if she would like them, uh, like super early. So that's the goal. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, so in the interim, while I wait for things to cook, I'm going to get these put away. I'm excited that my bobbins are coming tomorrow. Kind of wish I had bought more. I had put two packs in my cart and I was like, oh, I only need one right now. I'll probably buy some more because I need to buy some more elastic soon. If you know, like back in June, I bought two different types of elastics for scrunchies, a 100 meter roll and a 200 meter roll. And after use, I was like, oh yeah, this 100 meter roll stuff's pretty nice. But then I started using the 200 meter roll elastic and it's a little bit tighter, like tighter weft, I guess. And I actually like that one more. So that's the one I'm gonna order more of, which is great too, because it's like 200. Oh yeah, that was another thing. <laughs> I was hoping to fill these today. White elastic, black elastic, and then more of these. Because Tuesday's supposed to be my cutting day of fabric and other things. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm going to go for now because I'm sure the oven is heated up. And then I'm going to pop back up and figure this out. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna be sad here for a minute because my unboxing of the sewing machine, the cord was not plugged in for the mic. <sighs> That's the one thing about having like external mics is sometimes they suck. <laughs> um, I don't know how it popped out. Anyways, it did pop out. That's fine though. I think the most important thing, I mean, I'll still show the clips and maybe I'll try to do a voiceover. I don't know, we'll see. But the most important thing is I just plugged in the uh, machine after letting it sit inside for a while because you know it was a little cold when it came into the house and the screen works. Also it's really cool because it's um, inverse from the other one so it's like the light on the dark. I did too just spot like a little scuff mark here. Can you see it? <gasps> it's not a brand new machine. <laughs> Which I mean I knew going into it that it was a refurbished machine so it's fine as long as it works and doesn't decide to stop, we're gonna be a happy girl. Also, it came with bobbins, <laughs> three bobbins, which is so exciting. So if I somehow get that fabric cut, it's washed now at least. Um, I didn't even bother folding it because I know I have to cut it here very shortly. If I somehow get that cut and all sewn and everything before my bobbins that I ordered show up tomorrow, I now have bobbins so I can do some things, but that is not <laughs> for the time being. Let me put those somewhere safe. Um, so basically I sewed all the nose pieces onto the liners, not with this machine, but with that machine down there. Hello, my friend, I love you. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put the dirty clothes back in the hamper, put the hamper back in my bed, tidy up just a little bit, and then cut these threads, I suppose. <laughs> 
and then from there we're going to switch to cutting some poppy fabric. So I think I'm going to make more than I have commissioned because I have five that people want. So my mom and her boyfriend each want one and then three for the lady I work with. I think I'll probably make myself one out of the whiter fabric, <laughs> the white background fabric. That's what I was going for out of this one. I like, I prefer this one to that one. Um, but I'm going to make a couple extras in case anybody wants to buy them, I suppose. Because, like, honestly, what am I going to do with poppy fabric after this is over? So might as well make some. Why not? And, um, yeah, so that's the plan. <laughs> I saw, I'm, like, I'm just in a rambly mood now. The screaming, the need to scream has stopped, which I am super grateful for. And um, I just, I just want to chat. So I saw this really cute dress that they had made up at Fabricland. Uh, from a pattern and I was like that's really cute I would almost wear it and I was like I would wear it if it had dinosaurs on it and I was like oh, I can make it with dinosaurs and like I really feel like I'm missing out on the opportunity to make like some really cute clothes for myself <laughs> because I just don't have time <laughs> I still have my fabric for my pajamas that I want to make for myself which I want to get done before December <sighs> so that's uh We'll see. We'll see if I get more mask orders and we'll see how we can do. I'm hoping to get the poppy masks done today. It might be super ambitious. Um, and then the rest of these masks, I'll have to cut some more linings, of course, but the rest of these masks done by the end of the week at the latest. And then I have two more masks. Maybe I'll try to squeeze them in this week that I got um, commissioned to do. Um, and then me and then I gotta finish the scrunchies <laughs> and then I gotta post the scrunchies yeah. <laughs> this is why I want to scream sometimes anyways basically what I'm saying is I really want to make myself some pajamas but I don't have time and I'm sad about that but soon hopefully if not next week the week after I think I'm just gonna ignore the Harry Potter fabric that I have for a while now also I have more fabric on the way <laughs> they were two pre-orders um, the one I'm actually surprised it hasn't shipped yet because it's November now, so I think I'll wait another week or two, and if it hasn't, by that point I'll reach out. If they're like, oh my god, so sorry, we forgot about you, I'll just be like, just give me my money back, it's fine, I don't need the fabric. Um, and then the other one, I think she's in week, I can't remember if she said week six or nine since the pre-order, and she usually gets them turned around by week 12, so... That one I'm excited for. It's more geeky stuff. Um, but yeah, I really don't need it right now. So it's probably just going to go in a bin for a while. Anyways, I'm going to go because I'm rambling. I'm going to move this sewing machine and tidy up like I mentioned. And then we'll start cutting here soon. Well, hello again. <laughs> it's been some time. <laughs> I managed to get all of the masks pinned, which is fantastic because while my mom was at work, she sold like four or five of them. <laughs> so out of the 14 here, I think like 10 or 11 are spoken for. I mean, it's good, but also I'm like, if I need to make this many now, like are more people going to want some? So I think the plan is going to be hopefully finish these up tonight. <sighs> That's so much work though. But anyways, hopefully finish them up tonight and then tomorrow I can start cutting a bunch more linings because I need them anyways for all the other masks I have cut. And then um, worst case scenario, again, just repurpose those and cut a bunch more of the poppy fabric. So that's where we're at. I am going to restart some su super, 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 super natural, super natural <laughs> and um, keep going with the sewing. I didn't even mean to rhyme. Uh, my plans for today are just out the window. Like, I was hoping to edit a vlog. I also need to make a November intro soon. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're, we've moved mostly away from the uh, portion of the day, but it's coming and going. But yeah, I'm going to go for now, and I will check in with you, hopefully, with a bunch of masks almost done. So this is where I'm at. Everything is pinned or flipped and pinned. I just need to top stitch and then sew the channels into the elastic. Same for the black ones over here. But I'm also really exhausted. It is 20 after 10 and I kind of just want to go to sleep. I'm also wearing all gray, which is weird. Oh wow, even a gray sports bra. Sports bra da da da. 
pants. Everything is gray. <laughs> Important things. I'm exhausted and I really want to at least get these ones a top stitched, but that's not going to happen, I don't think. I think it's smarter to go to sleep now and wake up earlier <laughs> than to stay up late tonight. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I need to do a little bit of tidying here. Of course, those are clothes that are now clean. Dangerous. They're just going to sit there forever. Um, <laughs> the fabric, let's take that right now. I can still make more of these masks if I need to, so that is a good thing. Let's take this over here. Oh, why? Why? I just honestly, like, here's the situation. The majority of this fabric here can go away. I just haven't had time to, and like, it's not even that much effort. I just need to pull those bins down and put that fabric in. I've just been so busy. I need to finish sewing these, which I was hoping I would do today, but that's not gonna happen. Maybe they can, whoops, that fell. There. <laughs> Let me just toss that up there too. Okay, there. That can go there now. These are also part of the scrunchies that I need to sew. Here's the masks I need to sew. Like, it's bad. And it's honestly not getting any better, any easier. I just like, I'm back to the wanting to scream. So tomorrow the plan is probably be like two to three hours to finish those masks, masks I would guess. And then, oh my God, I'm so tired. And then I just gotta start cutting more fabric because even if I don't end up making more poppy masks, I need to get more of these. I actually have two masks that I'm redoing and sending to a friend because she was like, the large fit, the extra large was too big, but because my pattern got slightly smaller, it doesn't fit her properly, so I'm redoing them. Um, so I want to get those out as quickly as possible and then I have one that my mom wants me to make and then she Oh, yeah, while I was sewing she's like, oh so-and-so wants another one of these so I need to get that fabric out <sighs> It's fine. I think I think what I need to do is I need to get like a dry erase board Maybe I don't think that I have a small one there. I don't think it's big enough. I think I need to get a dry erase board I thought I had one I do have one. Where did it go? Anyways, <laughs> I need to get a dry erase board and then just keep my orders on there, I guess, because, like, this is a thing, apparently. So, anyways, I'm going to finish changing my PJs. I'm, like, halfway changed, and then I'm going to clear off the bed. I think, like, oh, here. There's just so much stuff. Also... I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm an idiot, and I was like, oh yeah, this will go underneath that way, even though I knew this was 24 inches and this is like 30. Ugh. Brain. Sometimes it works well. Uh, there's just, there's so much. And like, being organized is key, for me at least. I'm like afraid to put that on there. I don't want to wreck it. Maybe if I put it on there. Well, hope for the best. Um, <laughs> being organized for me is just key to being productive and not stressed out. <laughs> but when I get to this point where I have so much to do that I don't even have time to not be to to, to organize to anything that's when it gets real bad and I get really stressed and I can like feel anxiety coming up right now about things so I think going to sleep would probably be great um and then just kind of forgetting about it I can't I could keep going but I think it's it would be pointless so why bother <laughs> so just finish cleaning off my bed oh. see this is because I'm try I can't I don't even have space. I don't have space. I don't have space. It'll be fine. Tomorrow I'll finish those masks and fingers crossed get everything that I don't need put away. Pull out the new fabric that I need. 
put it in there like it's supposed to be. And yeah, so anyways, I'm going to go to sleep now. Hope you're all well. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>